This video will demonstrate how to create slope, aspect, and hillshade layers from a digital elevation model. The data I'm using for this demonstration is a digital elevation model of Mount St. Helens. The slope tool is used to show the steepness or gradient of terrain. We can find the slope tool by doing a search from the geoprocessing pane and just typing in slope. We'll see that two options come up here. We want to select the slope tool that is part of the spatial analyst toolbox. For the input raster, we can put in our digital elevation model. For the output, we'll just name that slope and we can go ahead and click run. We can see our output here on the map. And if we look over at the contents pane, we can see that colors move from light to dark as values increase from zero degrees, which is completely flat terrain, towards 90 degrees or completely vertical. For instance, if we look at the map, we can see darker colors representing the relatively vertical crater walls. Whereas if we look at the crater floor, we see lower value or lighter colors representing lower values, meaning it's relatively flat terrain. The aspect tool will show us the compass direction of the slope. An aspect is given in degrees from 0 to 360, where north is 0 degrees, and measurements proceed clockwise from north. To find the aspect tool, we can go and do a search from the geoprocessing pane and just search for aspect. Again, we're going to see two different tools. We want to select the one that is part of the spatial analyst toolbox. For the input raster, we can select our digital elevation model. We'll just name the output aspect. We can go ahead and click run. We can see our output here on the map. And if we look over to the contents pane, we can make a little more sense of these colors. We see that the 360 degrees has been broken into eight directions. North, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, and back to north. In the parentheses here, we see that uh, each of these directions covers 45 degrees of that entirety of 360 degrees. North is listed here twice since we start at zero. So north actually represents the portion from 337 and a half degrees to 22 and a half degrees. And we also see that gray here is representing flat terrain. Hillshade shows an elevation surface in relief by mimicking a source of illumination. And this helps in visualizing the terrain and landforms. We can find the hillshade tool by doing a search in the, from the geoprocessing pane. Again, we're going to see two options. We want to select the tool that is part of the spatial analyst toolbox. For our input raster, we'll select our digital elevation model. And I'll just call the output hillshade. One thing to note before I run this tool is this value right here, 315. That is uh, a measurement in degrees of the uh, source of illumination that will be used. We can see our output here on the map. And as we can see from this output, Hillshade does indeed help us visualize the terrain and landforms. By looking at the output, we can see that the illumination source comes from the 315 degree angle, or in other words, from the northwest, because uh, portions of the, the terrain that are facing that direction are illuminated. 
whereas we can generally see shadows on portions of the terrain that face southeasterly.